Let's start with the recent batch for advanced performance management uh, for December 21 attempt. And this is your instructor, this one Mania. You all know my struggle for APM continues. And today again, uh, I am starting with uh, a reset orientation session here. Now, you, there must be students who are already part of my batch who are also taking this class. And there may be students who are not part of the batch and they are just here for the reset. So my uh, suggestion is that everybody of you should listen uh, to this session, should be part of this session. I will not make it too long, but the main point I want to uh, discuss today, the message that I want to give to you people is that you all need to be on the right track, okay? You all need to be on the right track. Uh, and those who could not pass in September 21, they must understand that there are certain flaws that they need to overcome for December batch. And those who uh, are giving this paper for the first time, they also must learn that what are the issues that students did in September 21. So everybody uh, must ensure that you are listening to me very, very carefully. Let's begin the session with uh, the today's agenda that I will be following today. I will uh, be discussing the passing ratio, which is very important, obviously, uh, the passing ratio for a September 21 attempt. Uh, then the mindset which is required, uh, you should have, and that require that that mindset is important for the consultant and then the key learnings from September 21 attempt uh, planning for retake those who are planning for retake what they should do the retake and the practice plan and the future uh, planning that I uh, will tell you that I need to follow okay so uh, let's begin first of all with the passing ratio so you can see here uh, the passing ratio of September 21 was not very encouraging, not very good passing ratio, a very low passing ratio at 30%. Uh, it's a shocking thing to be honest because if you just look at the trend, uh, the worst passing ratio is in September 21 attempts. So this is showing that people uh, didn't perform well in September 21. And it is not a very good thing, not an encouraging thing. After so much effort that we do, uh, I conduct webinars. Every time I do that, uh, people are part of the batch. Uh, till the last day, I send you the audio messages. Uh, I, I conduct mock. We give you the feedback. I conduct the debrief of mock. After so much effort, it's disappointing to see that the passing ratio uh, went down and you know from June 21 it went down by 2% so I would say not very good passing ratio there are certain flaws there are certain problems which students must understand you know it's your money you know it's your time you know it's your effort you know it's your careers and we care for you I personally care for you because I don't want anyone to get failed after so much of coverage, content available in my online classes, around 80, 85, uh, uh, I, I would say 90 hours content you have, almost every pass paper is there. Why can't we pass? Why we are not passing? So you must understand, and there are a lot of queries that I get, still I'm getting since last four days after the results I'm telling you, many of the students uh, are lacking in terms of writing the answers. They are not getting what to write. They don't understand uh, the examination requirements. They are not re writing according to what is required by the examiner. So we must need to, uh, we, we must need to make sure that we uh, uh, improve our passing ratio. You people need to work in the direction that I will set for you today. Okay. Now, it is very important that this paper is a one where you have to keep in your mind that you are a consultant. You know, the examiner is ex expecting you to have a mindset of postgraduate. Now, postgraduate is what? Someone who has done the graduation, which means you are a practical consultant working in the market. So if you're a practical consultant working in the market, you have to make sure that your mindset 
your thought process, the way you look at the scenario, the way you deal with the things in the scenario, the way you construct your answer, all should look very, very, very professional. So I always tell everyone, you need to think like a consultant. Every time you think like a consultant, you need to read the examination question like a consultant. You need to speak like a consultant. You need to write like a consultant. You have to make sure that you are in the scenario. You have to ensure that you are part of the scenario. You have to keep this in your mind that you are the consultant and the scenario is your client. And listen, it's not just doing this on the examination day. You have to do the same thing when you practice at your home. You have to do the same thing when you're doing your practice work every time. Yes, this is important, my friends. This is very, 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 very important. So the mindset should be of a consultant. The thought process should be of a consultant, right? Now, key learnings from September 21 attempt. The passing ratio was not a very good one. And I'm, I don't want to scare you today. I want to give you the realization that you can do it. It's not an impossible task. It is something that just you need to understand what is the problem and you just overcome the problem. So the basic one of the issues is the knowledge, the fundamental knowledge should be good. You must have the basic understanding of the model, like what is a balanced scorecard, what is performance pyramid, what is corporate failure. And many of you are good in terms of the basic knowledge. But the second problem is that you, your answer should be according to the requirement. Very important. It's all about wrong answers. It's all about not understanding the question requirements and not writing in the right direction that creates the problem. So my consultants, you must realize that your requirement understanding should be very, very, very clear. I, in every webinar that I conduct, in every online sessions, in my live classes, massively I've emphasized a lot that come on, you need to understand what is the requirement, what is the verb, what is the object, and according to that, you have to uh, produce the answers. So yes, ensure the requirement that is set, ensure that all parts are answered. Okay? So your requirements understanding is very, very, very important. Then, you cannot ignore scenario. You can never ignore scenario. If you will ignore scenario, you will not get marks, to be honest. Whatever the topic tested is, it, it's ABC, it's it's ABM, uh, it's a uh, question of budget, transfer, pricing, whatever it is. Scenario, scenario, scenario. Your answer should never look like a general answer. And those who have taken my live classes before in this session, they know the way I've linked things in the scenario, the last three live classes, okay? Uh, those who will now enroll, they can watch those live sessions. So it's very clear, to be honest, that you must, must relate everything with the scenario. Last, section A, examiner is mentioning again and again, your answer of section A, which is of 50 marks, should be a professional answer, should be a well-drafted answer. You are getting four marks. I have mentioned this various times. When can you get those four marks? It's not about the right uh, format that you follow. It's to, from, date, subject. Not that. Your answer should look professional. Your words should look professional. Excessively writing things is also unprofessionalism. If you're writing things excessively, that is also unprofessionalism. Proper use of subheadings. This is professional answer. Well-structured layout. Clarity should be there. So your answer of section A gives a positive impression to the examiner. If your section A answer is not 
in the right way, it is giving a negative impression to the examiner. That is creating a problem. So my friends, you must ensure that your answer of section A should be a professional answer. Okay, just note down these things. These are million dollar tips, to be honest. These are the things that we are not aware of. Every time in a class, we, we focus a lot on, okay, we teach how to answer, fine. But these are the certain other tips which everybody must know. Because listen, covering entire syllabus will not ensure you pass. It's the examination technique blend with your practice will help you to pass. Right? So those who are now planning for the retake, now, they, 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 they must be students who are not already enrolled right now, who are not in my batches right now. And for them, it may be the first time with Rizwan Mania. Maybe you have, uh, you, maybe you were part of my webinars uh, in the last attempt. Those who are going for retake in December 21. First, reflect on your problems. Sit, be calm, sit and think where you might have gone wrong, how many marks you got, how many attempts you have given, how many marks you got, and did you complete the paper? There are certain questions to ask yourself. Did you complete the entire paper? Which areas you think were uh, not good for you? Which areas you didn't practice well? What were your strengths? What were your weaknesses? Now, you know, sort analysis, right? So two things I need to uh, bring here in front of you is figure out your strengths and note down your weaknesses. Were you able to complete the paper on time? Is typing a problem for you? Do you type slowly? Is the CB platform a problem for you? One of the student uh, messaged me a few days back and she said that I was not aware very much about the portal. And it was very get it was getting difficult for me to you know move from this place to this place and go to exhibits and all, and I completely guide students that how you have to use the exhibits and everything. Okay, the keyboard became the reason for failure. You can't believe one of the student messaged me that uh, she practiced on the Turkish keyboard and it was not available in the exam centers. So these are so small, 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 small blunders that you do that you lose your time, you lose your effort, lose your money, lose your motivation and you get behind in your careers. I know most of you are working professionals. Most of your careers are dependent upon ACCA qualification. So for that, your passing of APM and becoming affiliate is very important. So my friends, Listen, let's be professional now. Let's not tackle paper like a kid. You're not a five-year or 10-year old kid. You are a professional student. So you have to realize certain things which are important. I'll tell you what to do and you must do these things. So reflect on your problems. Today, after the session, give yourself 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, sit alone, have a cup of coffee or tea and think where I went wrong. Come on, do it. Follow the instructions. You will see the results. Just note down the point. Just send me that, okay, these, my, these are my flaws. So yes, yes, you must understand the fact that you need to figure out where you went wrong. And once you know where you went wrong, then you can come up with a very good plan. And you know, sometimes when you reflect on your problems, then you say, okay, I deserve not to pass and now I know what to do. And you, 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 you yourself get so much motivated and you come up with a plan to pass. Yes, reflect. If you could not pass papers since five attempts, four attempts, three, man, there is a massive issue. Who will resolve this? Is the tutor? No. Is the examiner? No. You yourself needs to resolve the issue. You are the person who will sit and realize where you went wrong. Second, use examiner reports. Listen, listen, listen. You want to pass? Come on. Do you want to pass? Say yes or no. 
obviously you want to pass, right? If you want to pass, if you want to pass, then two things I'm telling you, you must do. Two things I'm telling you, you must do. One is this. Examiner reports. Read the examiner reports. Last few attempts. Thoroughly read the report. And it's not that you just pick up a report and start reading. No. The report relates to the question that is touched in the exam. So solve one question of any particular attempt, the recent ones. Solve by yourself. Then two things. Solve by yourself. Then read the examiner report. And then read the past paper. The past paper answer. You have to, I'm telling you, those who did all these things, they passed APM. Solve the question by yourself, read the examiner report, and the past paper answer. This will give you the clarity what is expected from the examiner. Okay, you have my videos, that's fine. Okay, that, that, that's totally okay to understand and to make things simple, you can watch my video, that's fine. But report is important. Video is not a substitute of report. And I would recommend to read the exam report to understand the feedback of different answers. And you read certain past paper answers as well. But make sure first you solve and then you read. It's not that you don't solve and then you start reading it. That's stupidity. And please don't do this. Okay, uh, you read the question and you thought, okay, point one, this, two, I read this, three. No. Thinking about the pointers is easier than writing it. Because once you start writing the answer, you feel in between, oh, I'm short of ideas. Oh, I thought these three points, but these three points, you know, uh, were not too much. Your hand stops in between. That's the lack of practice. That's the lack of writing practice. So examiner reports and past paper answers. Examiner reports and past paper answers are very important. I hope you all are noting down what needs to be done. Then make a study plan for exam success. First reflect on your problems, find the issues, okay? And then come up with a plan. And this plan should include the plan to read the exam report. So come up with a study plan for exam success. Now what is a study plan? Today is 22nd, 23rd of October. Your exam is 8th, uh, is on 8th of December. So from 23 to 8th of December, you have one month of November in between with six days of October. That is 36 days and six days or seven days of December, which means you have 42 to 43 days. 43 days. Each day, 24 hours. So 43 into 24 hours gives you total hours into 60 minutes per hour. So many minutes into 60 seconds per minute. Wow. So many seconds you have. Don't waste it. Which means each and every second that is passing right now is the time that you're wasting. A lot of time you have. So plan your time if you're working. So you should spend at least four hours a day to study APM. How, sir, we should manage four hours? Because we work nine to five, we work nine to seven. I'll tell you. You need to, you need to put pressure on yourself. Are you ready? You need to take pressure. Hardship is important. Are you ready for that? So that I should put my effort to explain you. Yes or no? Yes, if you are ready, then listen. Before you go to the office, two hours before you go to your workplace, 
spend two hours. Watch the video because listen, from any religion you belong, one thing has been justified by science is that human mind is the most uh, fresh in the morning. So when you wake up in the morning early, your mind is the most fresh and that's the most fresh time for your mind. Which means you, what you study in evening, in two hours you can study in the morning in one hour. Come on, check it and let me know. Do it and let me know if it doesn't work for you. I am giving you an open challenge. This will do wonders for you. Wonders for you. So before you go to the office, study two hours, at least two hours in the morning. We wake up at six, wake up at seven, wake up at five, whatever is uh, convenient for you, keeping in your mind your job timings. So wake up in the morning because everybody's sleeping. That's the most peaceful time one has. Study at that time. And after that, go to the office, come back from the office, whatever time you come back, just relax, have food, have a cup of coffee, tea, just meet your friends or family members, whatever. Then before you sleep at night, study 1.5 to 2 hours. Maybe 3 hours in the morning, 1 hour in the evening. Before you sleep, you conclude what you have done. And make a four hour plan each day that if, for example, if I don't know whether you will take my classes or not, but those who want to enroll from today or you, those who have enrolled after the result and those who were before the result and they were also late, everybody can follow my simple plan that I have given a planner to complete the videos. Now that planner is based on four hours of study time each day. So look. Download my planner from the portal and make your own planner and say, okay, these topics, four hours, I will spend on these topics, first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. And like this, till 15th of November, we have shared the plan and you can complete our portal till 15th of November. We have given a plan. Those who will enroll or have already enrolled, and those who were before the result and they got late, they can even follow that planner as well. So yes, my friends, you need to make a plan that day one, two, three, four, five, six, these are the things I've been covering. Make a plan because if you will make a plan, you have targets in front of you. Every night before you sleep, look at the target. What I wanted to achieve and what I have achieved, this creates a pressure. And this will give you a feeling of, you, you'll be guilty at the end of the day if you don't cover the targets. And next day you will come back strong. At weekends you will come back strong. Getting the point. So you have to go for the hard work for the next 45 days. And then, 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 then it's all success. Don't have to study again. If you are becoming an affiliate, that's the last paper. Ask yourself that that's the last effort I'm doing. Then it's my life. Enjoy, man. No more studies. But you need to pass ACC. Okay? So make your plan. Now, creating a plan means time. Early morning works better for you, as I mentioned. Okay? Still, it depends on your understanding and all. But this is my recommendation. Early morning works better. Once you have prepared the plan, Stick to it. No deviations. I know the first day you will be very much motivated. Followed by the next day, less motivation. Then next, next motivation. Like this, like this. Party time. And again, your mindset will be towards the other stuff. Recall yourself. Just look at the plan every day before you sleep. Okay, this is what I've achieved. It's just a matter of 45 days. After today, 44 days. After tomorrow, 43 days. Like this, just tell yourself, 43 left, 42 left, 41 left, 40 left. One day left, examination day and party time. So yes, you need to motivate like this. And this will work 
massively for you people. Okay. Consider building an extra study period after few chapters to review and consolidate your learning. This is very important. I used to do this. That okay, if I cover two topics or three topics, I used to take out extra half an hour just to consolidate, recap, revise what I've done. This gives you a confidence. Okay, yes, I know what I've done. So, planner is extremely important. You all are working professionals. I want to guide you. I want to make it easier for you. So that's why today I'm here in front of you helping you the best I can. Please trust me. Trust me. Follow the plans. I always give my best for APM. And this time also I'll do it. But in return I need result. This will motivate me to put further effort. In my online classes, the way we teach, we have assignments, we give assignments, we track your performance. But today, you know, uh, I saw the tracking sheet in the regular batch group. So many people are behind, so many red marks. Please, please don't do this with yourself. If you don't want to pass for your own self, pass for me. Pass for Wifi's goodwill and image. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now, coming towards the practice side, I always tell 45 days you have, 45 questions you can practice of section A and B together. From tomorrow, okay, let me give you today's day as well. Enjoy. From tomorrow, start with one question, 25 mark question, 25 mark question, then the next day 25 mark question, then the next day 25 mark question, then the next day 25 mark question, then come to 50 mark question, then come to 50 mark, then 25, then 50, then 25, then 50. Every day it should be your target to draft the answer. A 25 marks exam or a question must be completed in 45 minutes. Your practice should be time-based. Note it down. Note it down. Come on. 45 minutes for 25 mark question. And 50 mark question of section A should be completed within 90 minutes. Note down the timings. Start with 25 mark question from tomorrow. Each day. Come on. Each day, just spend 45 minutes for 25 mark question. You can't do that. There are so many 45 minutes that you waste each day, that you waste on your mobile phones and Facebook and WhatsApp and Instagram and taking pictures. This is not professionalism. I'm really sorry I'm getting harsh, but it's, it is important. It it. Really feels bad to look at the passing ratio. 30%? We are not capable enough to pass in the paper? To be honest, on ACC platform, I've raised this time that we need to work on APM. We need to have a proper long-term plan for APM. So my friends, we have to work together and I am with you. We have to work together and let's improve the passing ratio. So 45 minutes for a 25 mark question and 90 minutes for, for, for what? Section A 50 mark question. Each day one question. Start with 25 marks, 25 marks, 20, just get used to it and then go to a section A. You start practicing from December 2014 exams, questions. Right? Read the question requirements. Follow the plan that I have shared a lot in my regular classes and the webinars. That to handle section B, there are there is a million dollar strategy. I've mentioned that. To handle section A, there is a million dollar strategy. That helps you to understand the question requirement and plan your answer. Follow my million dollar strategies. Time management is important. Time-based practice. Time-based practice. Now, just keep a watch in front of yourself and see, okay, 45 minutes done. Just stop. 
and just gauge your performance that how much is left, how many marks are left, how many marks are left, how much is left, then, then, listen, then read the examiner report of that particular answer and the past paper answer or watch my video or the past paper answer. Getting the point? Each day, 45 minutes of practice and after that, after that, uh, 20 more minutes for reading the exam report and past paper answer. That's it. You will pass the paper. Inshallah, you will pass the paper, to be honest. Do this from tomorrow till the exam day. You will see a massive change in your writing, in your ability to write, in your thinking. Everything will change. And type the answer. Don't write through a pen. Type the answer. Typing is important. You have to type the answer. Okay? So, I hope you are understanding. Write answer. See the report. Read the examiner answer. And then find your shortcomings. You will massively learn. So this is how you need to practice from tomorrow. Please, please, please follow this time. You will see a big change in yourself. Okay? So I hope this is helping you out. This is clear to you. Now approaching the APM questions. Now as you will do the practice. So again, I am re-emphasizing on the things. You need to follow the instructions given in the questions. There are verbs and objects given in the questions. There are multiple verbs, multiple objects. The most tested verb includes the word evaluate where you have to look at the positives and the negatives. The second most tested is recommend or justify. Every justification should be examination scenario based. You must Learn to break a question into verb and object. You must know that how many objects are, how many verbs are. Look at the number of marks and plan your answer. The verb indicates you not only what to do, but also indicates you the level of detail you have to go into. A very simple Example is one verb is state and the second verb is explain. So there is a massive difference between state and explain. State is just simply mentioning it. Explain is something where you give reason of why this is important for the company. Why? Why? Okay. Then look at this word and. In a requirement. This is something the extra ones, the extra objects, I would say. This and tells you the different of difference in the different, it tells you the difference of objects. If in one question there are two objects or three objects, this and will differentiate. Because your marking scheme, your number of marks are according to the objects. Now the question is, for example, you need to explain activity-based management, okay, and discuss its suitability for the XYZ company. So it's very clear that the word and is telling you that first you have to explain and then you have to discuss its suitability. Your marks are basically divided between two objects. First to explain and then to discuss the suitability. So if you explain only and you explain really well, no use. You need to, <clears throat> you need to discuss suitability. And that suitability discussion will be scenario based, not the general positives and negatives. Link everything with the scenario. Your, ad, your positives should be connected to the scenario. You have to write as if you are writing about this scenario. 
And that's the application. That's the application. Okay? Clear? So just note down these million dollar tips. Just note down these and from today start doing it. If you haven't done before, fine. Those who were already in my batch since last uh, July or whatever, August, fine. Still you have the last chance. Follow this reset planner now. This reset plan is of 25 days. Follow this planner. Now those who are not part of my session, those who uh, want to join WIFI for the reset attempt, they must know that we have high quality recorded sessions with very good visual animations followed by live classes. So those who will join for the December batch, they will still have the opportunity of three uh, to live, three to two live classes more. They, they, they will be able to take the live class sessions. They will have the e-notes. They have the exam testing platform access where you can practice the questions on a CB platform. Mock, very important. I, I don't understand why students are not willing to submit mocks. You can't pass. We offer one mock, but I would recommend go for two mocks at least. One by yourself and with, one with Wifi. We will give you the feedback of this mock. We always do. I conduct a debrief after this as well. My friends, my dear friends, my dear consultants, at least two mocks until and unless you solve the complete paper in three hours, you will not be in a good position to handle the paper. Listen, listen, listen. If you follow my plan, what will happen? Let me tell you. What will happen? Listen. If you start practicing question from tomorrow, 45 minutes each day, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, or 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 45 minutes, 90 minutes, 45 minutes. So this means your practice will be according to time limits. That's good. That's perfect. That's awesome. Then when you will solve two mocks, so you will be very much ready to solve the entire paper in three hours. Because your practice is to solve in 45 minutes or 90 minutes. When it comes to a complete paper, you can easily manage it. Perfect. You can easily manage the paper. So, mocks are very important. Don't take it lightly. Follow the plan, start from tomorrow with a 25 mark question for one week, maybe two weeks, then 50 mark questions, and then mocks. Okay? And then grand revision is of what I conduct. Uh, so now I want to give you the plan that is uh, important for you and you need to decide where you want to uh, enroll. So my current batch is for the reset student, okay? So those who could not pass in September 21 and still are not part of my batch, they can enroll themselves in this reset batch, which includes entire syllabus. Let me tell you, the enrollments are till 30th October. Now I am giving them a 25 days plan to cover the content. Uh, already two days have passed. So now they are left with 23 days. If you come, if you uh, miss today's days, then you have 22 days. So you need to follow the plan. Okay. You can enroll this in batch. Now those who could not pass and they think that they can't study on their own, they, they are lacking in terms of practice, knowledge. Close your eyes and come into this batch and follow the plan. In this current batch, you will get live classes as well. Okay. You will submit three assignments that will check. You will uh, get the mock facility. Okay, 
including debrief, right? And entire content, 25 days plus. So it's recommended who could not pass and want to reappear in December. Second, if you think you are good, you need to just uh, get a recap of the basic important topics only. And you don't have to go for a thorough studies through the video lectures. They can come in my revision batch starting from 5th November. For this revision batch also I will give, give you the plan what to do. This revision batch will include hot 20 areas video, hot 15-20 areas video lectures with the past paper questions. Along with this, mock will be part of this again. So mock is also here and also in the regular batch. So mock facility will be here as well with important hot area videos. The most likely topics videos will be there in this batch. Okay, the revision batch, right? Then if you want to come to this batch, wait till 5th and join them. But mock will also be part of this, including the debrief. Okay. But here in revision, there will be no live classes. There will be no live classes and no assignments. Just the mock and the feedback of mock. Along with the recorded content of key areas. Okay. Third is our general announcement worldwide, globally, as always. Rezwan Mania is conducting webinar this time again, which is free for all of you. So you must be part of this webinar if you are in my batch, if you are joining the reset batch, if you are part of the crash batch, if you are not in any batch, don't miss this free opportunity. Spread the wo word globally amongst your friends. Spread the word globally among your friends that yes, it's the webinar. Game Changer webinar series starting by Wifi again. And this time, it's the first time Wifi will be conducting webinars for all the papers of Skill and Professional. So, all the papers of Skill and Professional webinars we are conducting this time. So, it's a massive opportunity. Be part of the webinars. If you are in the general WhatsApp groups, that's fine. We will update about these things in the general WhatsApp group. If you are not in the general WhatsApp groups, so this is my WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me. I will add you in the global APM groups, the global community of APM groups. If you're not part of Rizwan Mania APM group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven. So I will add you there. So those who are interested in the current reset batch or crash batch, revision batch, this is the number of our coordinator. It's plus nine two three 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 two double three seven five so double three seven eight four three five. Now this is the number of the coordinator three three two. Okay, double three seven eight four three five. You can WhatsApp the coordinator. She will let you know the fee structure for this and this as well. But this is free for all of you. For this, you need to be part of our general WhatsApp groups. If you're not, just message me here. For these two, you have to contact the coordinator. Those who will be in my batch, we will intimate them about the webinars themselves in their regular class WhatsApp groups. Okay, so decision is yours, but always go for a wise decision. Sometimes we save few amount, few dollars, and then we need to pay the fee again. Okay, so be wise, follow the plans, right? Now, let's come to the question and answer session. If you have any questions that you need to ask, so please feel free to ask questions. <clears throat> okay, you have joined yesterday. So how will you follow the 25 days plan uh, on your portal? Uh, Rebecca on your portal, we have attached the planner. So just uh, follow that planner. Just download the planner and just look at the planner. Make your own timetable. Start following it. Okay. In the uh, 
December. He said, okay, one thing I need to add here, which I just missed out. And that was those who are not planning for December. Yes. Neither in the current batch or the revision batch. And they think they are not good enough for December now. They want to take a break. You can join my March batch as well. So we have started the registrations for March 22 batch as well. So you can enroll yourself. You need further time okay, to practice you, you, if you do want to take risk. So don't worry. Go for March 22 attempt. You can join the March batch. For this also, we are giving a complete plan how to prepare yourself in four and a half months. This will include live classes. This will include assignments and everything. Okay. So you can come into this batch as well for March 21 if you're not prepared for December. Okay. So you can contact coordinator again for this. So there are three choices you have. This one, this one and this one. And don't forget the free webinars. Yes, please. <clears throat> uh, shall we watch the live classes before the topics? Uh, no, not exactly. I think if you are part of the new batch, so live classes, recordings are important, but first cover up the plans, the, the original topic plans, and then watch the live classes, okay? There have been just three live classes, so you can watch later on as well. Yes, please. Any other question? Normally, what I recommend is that uh, 50 mark question is the one that uh, sometimes really get uh, difficult to handle but uh, what i recommend is that you you may start from section b 25 mark question the the one which you think is easier for you out of the two section b questions so what it happens that if you are able to solve 125 mark question first okay so what it does is that because that question was easy for you because of the strength of that topic and if you are able to complete within 45 or maybe 2-3 minutes before that so you get a psychological advantage and after that you should go towards section A 50 mark question okay so this is my suggestion that first go for section B one question the easier one for you okay and then go for 50 mark question because you know, 50 mark question is the more is the most important thing. You can't you can't take it lightly because it includes professional marks and through this question examiner really judge your performance. Okay, so I would if you are confused and you think psychologically that going for section A question may exhaust you. So for you, I would say go for one section B question, the easier one, and then come back to section A and then the remaining section B question. Okay. So this is one, uh, what you say, this is one uh, sort of a plan I offer the students. And second is start with section A directly, okay, because section A 50 marks are very crucial. So those who think that psychologically they, they, they will be stressed out. So go for section B question first, only one, and then come back to section A, okay. Okay, we have another question from uh, Madeleine. My problem is on, on in-depth answer writing because just found out it's one mark per good idea. Madeleine, yes, it's right. But uh, sometimes to explain one good idea, you may spend uh, three to four uh, you, you may spend more time and three to four lines, you know. It's not that one idea uh, or you have to count that number of ideas I need to write, okay. So, in APM, I've never seen 10 marks, 10 ideas. It's not that normally. So, sometimes to explain one idea, there are two to three uh, valid points that you're using it, okay. So, I think focus on, uh, the look at the marks, right. Uh, and if you are part of my previous sessions or the current session, you will find that the way I break the question and into different objects. So uh, for each and every object, you need to write for three marks or five marks or seven marks, whatever, uh, because you split the question automatically, you get a psychological advantage and you know, okay, I have to write for these number of marks. So like this, it is much easier for you to plan and search the points in the scenario. Because normally what I've seen, 
uh, examiner marking scheme if you look so they say that we'll give you up to three marks up to five marks up to seven marks now this word up to is is something that giving you the idea that if more content is available in the scenario and you searched all that content so you can score all the complete mark in one area so the marking scheme is divided in such a way that it depends uh, on the quantum or the quantity of information available in the scenario if examiner knows that uh, i've 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 given information for one area more so marks for that will be more as well okay so like this you can plan uh grand revision classes it's not grand revision classes it's a grand revision class uh of one day where i give a entire revision and exactly i think you need to ask webinars are starting from where which date so it's 15th from where the webinar will start for five days okay and that includes the grand revision so any other question anyone is it okay clear okay so those who are interested in registrations, they can contact at this number. And uh, those who want to ask and take suggestions from me, they can WhatsApp me here. Uh, I hope uh, the session today uh, uh, went good for you. So please, what are your feedbacks about the session? Was it informative and encouraging for you? Yes or no? Please, was it encouraging and informative for you? Will this session give you the motivation and will this session help you to plan better for the remaining 45 days? Yes, you can even answer using the chat box, please. Everybody give your uh, feedbacks, how motivating it was and how much it will help you to plan, as I mentioned, 45 days. So one question each day, practice from tomorrow within exam conditions, mocks. And these are very, 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 very important, okay? Exactly. 45 days of sacrifice to enjoy lifetime. Good long-term approach. Thank you very much, everyone. So those who will be in my batch uh, before the next week. So next Saturday, we have a live class where I will be targeting a 50 mark question for the paid students. So those who uh, will be part of my batch next week, make sure you don't miss any live classes, okay, that I'll be conducting the live sessions make sure you are part of those live classes right so you all next week those who are joining stay connected follow the plans those who are my previous student who were behind they can even follow the plan uh, uh, for the reset that is available on the portal you can uh, in fact not on the portal i need to share in the group okay because we have a separate portal for the reset student so i will share uh, the 25 days plan for the previous students as well who are behind, they can use this plan to cover up the things. Thank you very much, guys. Stay connected and make sure you are looking forward to our webinars and the batches. See you then. Take care. Bye.